It was actually a dream come true for me to get the job at the Art Museum. My background, or my career background, is in finance and accounting, but when I was in high school, I actually wanted to be an artist, and this was the museum I came to all the time when I was growing up. And it makes me very proud and happy to think that I was able to kind of marry my interest in art with the background and the career that I chose and come here to the museum and do the work I've done. My mother is really my mentor, my inspiration, because the one thing she always provided was unconditional love and support for anything that I wanted to do. And so having someone that instills that kind of confidence in you is immeasurable. I think it's hard when you're the person that's living this life to really judge what kind of an impact you have. I would say I'm very proud of a lot of the work that I've done since I've been at the museum. Honestly, I feel so privileged that I can work with so many passionate, bright, intelligent people who really want to give back and, and do that selflessly. So just the fact that I've been a part of that, I feel it's been more my privilege. And if I can pass that on to somebody else, I very much want to do that. For me personally, it's just been the privilege that I've had, really, of having a career that's been very personally fulfilling, and it's something that I feel like I can give back to other people. I have to say, I, I really feel very honored by this award. You know, I know so many of the women who have been honored with this in the past, and the other people who are getting the award yet this year. And just the fact that I'm among these women makes me feel, you know, really, um, honor doesn't seem like a strong enough word for that but I'm with, with an amazing group of women, and boy, I just want to do my darndest to make sure I measure up. <laughs> Everything that the YWCA stands for, I really believe in. Helping young women to take on leadership roles, to have confidence, to be the greatest person they can be. I truly believe that that's important, and so the fact that I'm receiving an honor from this group is uh, really very meaningful to me. If I were to advise young women who are growing up today, I would just tell them to decide what's really most meaningful to you, what you really care about, what you can have a passion for, learn as much about it as you can, and make that part of the career or the goals that you have in your life to be a part of that, because I think that is what really brings you personal fulfillment and happiness. Thank you.